What's up, mi gente? This is Sandy Shakes, and you're listening to B Wom's Fresh Cuts. I cannot love you like I love poetry. I keep my words in a grow room that you cannot enter. They are delicate, hybrid, and full of potential. These strands have hidden formulas that your mortal brain will never understand. I cannot love you like I love poetry. My words have never made me choose between my heart and the rumors that enter my inbox. They follow college ruled lines for me. They shut down apostrophes in their DMs for me. They write four page letters and seal it with a kiss like Aaliyah did rest in peace. I cannot love you like I love poetry. The strongest poems have comforted me during nights where my eyes have flooded my sheets. I have yet to meet a man that can recite anything to me and make me stop in my tracks, make me work harder than I have, hold my reflection in his hand and spell the word publish the way poetry has. I cannot love you like I love poetry. Over and over again, I have recited my feelings in two different languages to an art that has always translated mi amor. Una y otra vez, where lovers have fell short of speaking my intentions into a universe I thought we had given birth to, only to find out both of us were infertile. I cannot love you like I love poetry. My heart has developed a unique cardiogram diagnosed as a poeta's heart. Activity no man or woman has ever compared to the waves on this report. Words have copyrighted the beats that make me jump and weep. The sound waves of my heart's sound cave cannot be heard by ears untrained with untruths and unrealistic metaphors of the girl you used to know before you used her so. I cannot love you like I love poetry. Simply because the thought of a microphone is enough for me to leave the room you are in and chase the high of the next. Coming up to the mic is Miss Sandy Shakes. That's all it takes. Poetry wins again. To all those who have once fit the description, you are more than LAPD's racist etch-a-sketch. I don't know who is in charge of drawing brown faces to fit the Hamburglar, but we didn't steal shit to catch a case on a Wednesday. No, we couldn't even afford McDonald's because we grew up on Hay Comida en la Casa. A Mexican fairy tale with the same lie as Sana Sana Colita de Rana. I don't want to put our parents on blast, especially not the table of one parents, that I couldn't leave because ese cabrón beat me to it, parent. The estoy bien cansada porque entro a las cuatro de la mañana, parent. I am so sorry, mama. I am sorry you didn't have any energy left to ask us if the cops tried to mess with us again. Or maybe you did, but refused to admit that you also fit the description that day. The pain, humiliation, and courage it took to just walk away. I know our mothers and fathers tried their best to be the best in this country. Sometimes all they did was stay. Being profiled as a criminal, not measured for the gifts they possessed, but judged by the different accents they carried. All they could say was, I'm an American citizen while trembling, while searching for humanity and all of those in uniforms that constantly search for a reason to cause their last breath. Before cell phones, before videos, before hashtags, they fit the description and got beat without commercial interruption, without anyone ever saying their name. To my gente, my guilty until proven non-Mexican gente, I am here to tell you that you do not always fit the description. No, I am here to tell you that the only description you fit is that a leftover gold left behind from kings and queens that built pyramids to remind you of the power of your brown skin. Look harder and see how it shines in the sunlight. If the god of sun makes our pores the color of bronze treasure, how could you not fit the description? How could you not fit the description of those protected by royalty? We were kings. We are queens. They failed to describe us. They were never part of our kingdom.
I cannot love you like I love poetry. I keep my words in a grow room that you cannot enter. They are delicate, hybrid, and full of potential. These strands have hidden formulas that your mortal little brain will never understand. I cannot love you like I love poetry. My words have never made me choose between my heart and the rumors that enter my inbox. They follow college ruled lines for me. They shut down apostrophes in their DMs for me. They write four page letters and seal it with a kiss like Aaliyah did, rest in peace. I cannot love you like I love poetry. The strongest poems have comforted me during nights where my eyes have flooded all my sheets. I have yet to meet a man that can recite anything to me and make me stop in my tracks, make me work harder than I have, hold my reflection in his hand and spell the word published the way poetry has. I cannot love you like I love poetry. Over and over again, I have recited my feelings in two different languages to an art that has always translated mi amor, una y otra vez, where lovers have fell short of speaking my intentions into a universe I thought we had given birth to, only to find out both of us were infertile. I cannot love you like I love poetry. My heart has developed a unique cardiogram diagnosed as a poeta's heart, activity no man or woman has ever compared to, the waves on this report. Words have copyrighted the beats that make me jump and weep. The sound waves of my heart's sound cave cannot be heard by ears untrained with untruths and unrealistic metaphors of the girl you used to know before you used her so. I cannot love you like I love poetry simply because the thought of a microphone is enough for me to leave the room you are in and chase the high of the next coming up to the mic is miss sandy shakes that's all it takes poetry wins again <laughs>